Rangers are not back in action now for a little while as we're in the midst of the winter break. In today's video though, we'll discuss some transfer news as well as going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. KV Ostersons have provided a positive update on the condition on former Rangers player Dapper Mabud. The 22-year-old was yesterday rushed to the hospital following a car crash in Belgium. The forward's vehicle collided with a tree at the exit in Lopem on Sunday. He was subsequently taken to hospital where his condition was said to be critical. It is believed the forward was travelling to a practice match, with Ostersons confirming this has been cancelled as a result. Now it's been revealed by the Belgian side that Dapo has undergone successful surgery. A short statement read, Dapo Mabud underwent successful surgery after his accident. Tomorrow we'll get more information about his situation. We thank the medical staff of AZ Bruges for the good care. We think of Dapo and his family and wish them much strength and recovery. No other vehicles were involved in the incident. The local prosecutor's office is quoted as saying, It's not clear how the accident could have happened. The public prosecutor's office has appointed a traffic expert to investigate the precise circumstances of the accident. Mabood came through the ranks at Akinawi, having joined Rangers age 11. He broke into the first team fold under Steven Gerrard and made a senior debut on the final day of the 2018-19 season in a 2-1 loss at Kilmarnock. After a loan spell to gain much-needed first-team experience at Queen of the South, the Scotland under-21 international left Ibrox in 2021 to sign for Watford. He also played at Wimbledon on loan before making the move to Belgium with Ostersons. Rangers sent their well wishes to their former player online yesterday. A post read, The thoughts of everyone at Rangers are with the former academy player, Dapo Mabud, and his family at this time. Just a quick one guys, we've released our January merch drop, so do browse the new collection. We've got the Mr. Blue Nose tees, along with our Staunch Meter tees. Do, as I said, browse the collection by going down into the link in the description, or going to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Rangers' demands to the Scottish FA over Willie Collum's involvement in future games were wrong. That is the view of former Rangers striker Kenny Miller. Following last weekend's Old Firm derby, which Celtic did win 2-1, there has been a public war of words between Rangers and the SFA over the non-award of the penalty for handball against Alistair Johnston. Colum, who was on VAR for the game, felt the Canadian did not handle the ball inside his own area and therefore alerted the on-field official Nick Walsh to play on. This has sparked much controversy, with further offside pictures circulated by Clydesdale House to indicate why the decision of no penalty was made. Miller believes the handball call was a subjective decision and feels Colum does not deserve to have his integrity called into question. He wrote in the Daily Record, I don't like seeing referees being put under pressure. Are Rangers correct to ask for an explanation of what actually happened? Absolutely. But they can't dictate to the SFA who's going to referee their games. Willie clearly felt it wasn't a handball and the majority of people out there believe that was the wrong decision. But that's all it is, a big mistake even though 99% of the population would have thought it was a handball. Everyone can see what happened. Willie didn't think it was a penalty, so there was no need to check for the offside later. The lines and the pictures were put out there to try and calm the situation, but offside should never have come into equation. Why would it? Willie didn't think it was a penalty. So that has muddied the waters, and I don't like how it's played out. I don't agree with the referees being put under pressure based on decisions they've made, and you don't want a situation where officials are fearing for their safety. We're all really passionate about our clubs and our game in Scotland. It's okay to be disgruntled at decisions made against your club. But if a mistake has been made, you have to believe it was an honest one. If we don't, we have far bigger problems. But by putting the offside lines after the event, all it did was open a can of worms and instigate theories of bias and conspiracy. That didn't sit right with me. It didn't need to happen. The SAFA have caused their own issue there. It was completely unnecessary because Willie didn't believe it was a handball. Rangers are working on signing a second forward in the January transfer window, according to Football Insider. It is believed that the club are eager for another attacker, even after completing the landmark addition of Fabio Silva on loan from Premier League side Wolves. Philippe Clement has been told by the Rangers board that he will be allowed to bring in more signings in the winter window, as they vie to reclaim the league title from Celtic. With the headline capture of Silva already over the line, the board have prepared themselves to further back Clement, after his impressive start at Ibrox since replacing Michael Beale in October. 
They are exploring the market for a versatile forward capable of spearheading the attack and also able to play out wide. The Belgian was unbeaten in his opening 17 games in all competitions at Rangers, but failed in the old firm when they lost 2-1. The summer additions to the front line, including Cyril Dessers and Sam Lammers, have underperformed and not met expectations after their expensive moves. Dinilo has showed some promise since his £6 million move from Feyenoord, but a knee injury has seen him sidelined since early December, and he may not be back for four months. Despite underwhelming at Wolves, Silva's arrival has excited fans as he made his debut from the bench as Dessa's replacement in their recent win over Kilmarnock. Rangers sit second in the league table after their 3-1 win against Killy, and next face Dumbarton in the Scottish Cup after the winter break on the 20th of January. Ridvan Yalmaz is on the verge of leaving Rangers according to multiple reports. Reports claim that the Turkish left-back is closing in on a transfer to Serie A side Verona. Reports in Italy state Verona has agreed a £3 million move for Yilmaz. Philippe Clement is keen to sign a new left-back in this window, with Borna Barisic's deal up in the summer. There has been speculation linking the Ibrox club with a move for ex hibernian defender Josh Doig, who currently plays for Verona, but this new report states that any hopes of Doig moving in the other direction to Yilmaz are fading. Torino are believed to be in pole position to sign the 21-year-old Scottish starlet, is said to have offered Verona a player plus clash deal for Doig. They have tabled an offer of £3.5 million plus add-ons, as well as a sell-on clause for Givada Sigenetis. Leeds United and Monza are also believed to be interested in Doig, who was contracted to Verona until 2026. Doig moved to Serie A in 2021 as he pocketed a Hibs £3 million. So with Doig looking likely to move on this window, Yilmaz appears to be his replacement. This report claims that Clement could now turn his attention to FC20 fullback Gigi Small as a replacement for Yilmaz. Meanwhile, Rangers won't face a transfer battle to land Scott McKenna, according to multiple reports in the country. It is claimed Brendan Rodgers is not interested in a move for the Scotland international. It comes after reports on Friday linked both Celtic and Rangers with a January sweep for the Nottingham Forest centre-back. McKenna hasn't played for club side Forest since September and is expected to depart the club during the current transfer window. Rangers fans, what are your thoughts on getting a new striker this January? Do you think we will? And who do you think will be the best option? Let me know a name down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we have released our January merch, so do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.